In this demonstration, we're going to relieve some of the bearing at the back of the reverse curve in the horizontal meridian of the lens. And that's because after the initial lens design, pretty much all of the refractive cylinder is still carrying through to the post-treatment refraction. So we need a little bit more differential in terms of molding between the horizontal and vertical meridians. The spherical component of the prescription is being corrected fairly well. So instead of increasing how much molding we get in the vertical meridian, we're going to decrease how much we're getting in the horizontal. So in GSIM, we'll go into 50% mode and we want to see where our sagittal depths currently are. We're at 823 and 1768. And because it seems like the periphery of the lens uh, aligns fairly well with the cornea, we won't change anything out here. We'll just make the change here at the IC control point. Currently at 823, uh, what I would try is decreasing this by 20 microns. So we'll go for a target of 803. So we're going to click up a couple times. It's probably a little too much. Come back down. So we're at 803. You'll see that the change we made also changed the outer control point. We're now at 1739. So we do want to set this back to 1768 since the initial alignment looked good. And so now we have our original value of 1768, our new value of 803. This change is only in the horizontal and a little bit in the oblique since we're at 50%. I do recommend keeping this lens prism ballast as you currently have so that it tends to orient the way we need it to. And this should help reduce some of that residual cylinder in the patient's refraction.